Hello everyone and welcome back to Flickering Hope. I have not made a video since December, so sorry about that. I think it's mostly been lack of motivation, so... Anyway, I'm back to make a video, so first video of the new year, so... Happy New Year! First Flickering Hope video of 2015. Hopefully there will be more. I do not plan to take as long a break again as I have now. But anyway, let's start this video off with some videos that I took over the holidays. Hello everyone, and good morning. It is 10 minutes after 9 o'clock on Christmas morning, so... Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Namza Kwanzaa. Um, yeah, um, hope I have a good one, hope everyone else has a good one too. Let's head on downstairs. So on Christmas morning, the first thing we do is we open the store cheese grater. And then we Yay. open our gifts one at a time. December 26, 2014, I'm driving on the 401. Um, what time is it right now? It's 9.20 p.m. And we just got home, or we're just going home from our family's Christmas. Uh, her sister and her husband. Can't see either of them in the back. So, just getting into town. There's the best west and um, other stuff. Did you say anything? Um, I'm not really sure what to say. Um, I'm gonna okay, have to look over this to see what to put in the video and what to take out. Leave it off. Well, make I, two I don't videos. want to make the video too long. We'll make two videos. There's McDonald's. I didn't actually upload a video yesterday. Because I didn't drove record much. All the way home. Using cruise control for the first time. That's uh, something. Tim Martin's. Yeah. No, I didn't upload a, a video yesterday. Time, uh, I'm recording again. Okay? Yeah. I need to record my face, but you won't be able to see me. Hey, I'm Matt's brother. I wonder if that worked. So here are some of the lights. We should be talking about it. This is your video. Victoria Hall, Coburg's Town Hall. It's a nice town hall because Coburg was expected to be the capital of Ontario, but that didn't happen. We're a small town of under 20,000. Toronto became the capital of Ontario. But we still have quite a nice town hall. Yeah. Now we're coming up to the uh, park. Yeah. Uh, they have a lot of lights on there. Drive, drive by uh, on the side there. You know what I mean? The, the, the road just past the park. Whatever that is. So, not not right here, the, the usual one. Yeah. What is it, Church Street? Something like that. It's a park playhouse. I don't know if it's still open. I feel like cool. it's not. So here are the lights in Victoria Park. Drive uh, by, drive Have you done the lights yet in the video? I don't think so. Oh, why not? Why not? Uh, the lights. How do you zoom with this thing? Oh, wait, I might have done the lights at one point. That was very brief. Is there a zoom? Uh, you can turn the uh, end, but you can't zoom in very far. Yeah, yeah I won't bother. And the stage has a lot of lights, but we can't really see them from way back here. I think it's a pretty good display. That's Victoria Park. So not many videos taken over the holidays, but I could have taken more, but Anyway, that's what was done. But anyway, so, Happy New Year, but... Happy New Year, April 1st, but... Does that really make sense? I mean, I know it's the first video of the New Year, so... A few months late, 
But really, actually, a long time ago, New Year's was actually on April 1st. It's believed that's where April Fool's Day originated from. You see, a long time ago, New Year's Day was April 1st. Eventually, it changed to be January 1st. After that, the people who still celebrated New Year's on April 1st were called April Fools, and that is where the term April Fools comes from. Now, the part about playing tricks on other people, I'm not really sure where that came from, but the term April Fools comes from the people who celebrated New Year's Day on April 1st. But I kind of feel like that makes a little more sense, because now we're talking about the end of winter, spring's coming out, the animals are coming out of hibernation, plants are starting to grow again, everything's kind of starting over. So I feel like a New Year's on April 1st actually makes a little more sense. Why it got changed to January 1st, I'm not really sure. I, I feel like it was probably changed because it's closer to Christmas. Now, I'm still going to celebrate New Year's on January 1st because that's what the majority of the world does and I don't want to be in April Fool's, but what do you guys think? Do you think New Year's on January 1st or April 1st makes more sense? I'd be curious to see, so you can leave your responses in the comments below. And I've decided I'm not going to stick to a weekly schedule. I'm going to make a flickering hope video when I feel there's something to make a video about. But I promise I will try not to keep a long gap like I did this time. And until the next flickering hope, don't forget to be awesome.